Hey, what is up YouTube? Optic Ashes here bringing you another video and I know, I know, I know it's been a really long time since uh, I've talked to you guys and uh, I don't know, to uploaded anything. Um, I've been really behind on uploading and streaming and for that I apologize. So uh, those of you who are still subscribers, thank you for staying with me. Um, I just wanted to give an update about what's been going on, why I haven't been uploading and kind of catch you guys up a little bit on everything that's been happening. So as you could tell in the title sequence, um, that was actually my desk uh, in the new Optic offices. Uh, starting to get a little bit settled and situated here, but yes, I have relocated and moved myself and my girlfriend to Dallas, where uh, we will be living from now on, part of the whole Optic relocation. Uh, the whole Gears of War team is actually out here as well. Um, it's really exciting. It's really awesome. You can tell if you watch the uh, the podcast. I'm actually in the podcast room filming this right now. Um, it, it's exciting, man. It's it's surreal to be part of all of this. To be part of such like an awesome opportunity and um, movement. It, it, it's a dream come true. It's what I've always wanted to happen for for my career path in esports and uh, for my team over the last two years. You know, the guys have worked super hard to be the best that they can be and to win everything that they can. And um, seeing something like this happen kind of helps it all become like, you know, it makes it more real. It makes it feel like a career uh, more than just like a hobby that we're making good money doing. Um, it, it's exciting. The second part of this is uh, I got promoted. Um, so a lot of you, if you're tuned into my streams at all, you know that I've been dying to do more for Optic and to help Optic out and help Optic grow. And Optic has been growing tremendously over the last few months with the acquisition of an Overwatch League spot and uh, League of Legends uh, LCS spot and so on and so forth, the PUBG team. Um, so they, they've started growing as a company as well and I have moved up into a player support coordinator position. Uh, which basically means myself and, and my team, uh, that my colleagues that I work with, two other people, we are in charge of facilitating all the needs uh, for all of the different teams under Optic. Uh, so basically we're kind of like team managers. We make sure they have the equipment they need. We book their travel. We chase down prize money and fill out those forms and paperwork. We make sure that they get paid on time by talking to the finance team. And, and anything that could possibly be needed, uh, we take care of so that uh, they can just focus on playing and, and winning. And um, it's exciting. It's using my, my years and years of management experience uh, to, you know, putting it to good use. Uh, me specifically, uh, out of the three, you know, there's three of us that make up this team that cover the eight Optic teams. Uh, I, I cover the console teams, uh, which includes Gears of War. I'll still be coaching the Gears of War team, but I'll also, you know, be doing this new role for them as well as the Call of Duty team and the Halo teams. Um, so I should be going to all or most events for all teams, uh, which is super exciting because I love traveling and going to these events, which means I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more. And being in Texas, I'm gonna try to vlog a lot more. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, it's super exciting news. It's a dream come true for me. It's what I've been dying to do uh, ever since I stepped foot into esports as more of a manager and not a competitor. So I'll still be coaching the Gears team, I'll still be helping them achieve their goals of winning everything this season, um, but I'll also be doing all this other work. So it's exciting and uh, I hope you guys are as excited as I, as I am. Next part I want to talk about is uh, my stream schedule and my upload schedule. I tried to upload daily for the longest time, then I stopped stressing about it and just uploaded when I could. Um, streaming, I was streaming Monday through Friday from 2 p.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, now, because I'm working in the Optic offices and I'm here a lot and during those hours, that's not going to be possible anymore. Uh, so for stream schedule, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, I'm hoping to do like nighttime streams. Um, and I'm going to kind of switch the path of my YouTube channel and my, uh, my streams. I tried to stay majorly in Gears of War content because, um, you know, that was one, it, it was what I was most familiar with and two, it brought the most views, um, which, you know, made me feel good. So, uh, but I'm going to be kind of maybe shifting a little bit away from that. I'm going to start doing more games that make me happier to play. Uh, I'll still be streaming Gears occasionally. I'll still be uploading Gears videos occasionally, but the game's just kind of dried out in terms of creating content for it. Uh, so I'm going to be exploring other avenues and if that means I have to start with a new fan base, if that means you guys want to unsubscribe or don't want to support, then, 
here's your heads up. Um, but there will still be some Gears content sprinkled in with whatever other games I'm playing at the time, League of Legends or um, uh, PUBG or Fortnite or even you know just vlogs and things like that. So um, that's that's my plan for my YouTube channel, my stream. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out the schedule because I'm still going to be participating in our team's practices as well as doing these office hours. So. Um, it's really just going to be figuring out how I can fit that in my schedule. It probably won't be as consistent as before uh, or as frequent, but I mean, you know, there's weekends and stuff like that. And if I'm not at tournaments and, and whatnot, we'll, we'll figure it out and I'll keep you guys updated on that. But just know I'm working to try to find the time. So one of the other questions I've been asked a lot is uh, about coaching sessions. I did uh, six coaching sessions out of the first eight that I offered and uh, they all went really well and I've had a lot of people express interest in me opening up another batch of them which I fully planned on doing and I still want to do. It's just, it's kind of lower on the, the pecking order. Like I want to be able to stream before I do the coaching session. Um, but I'm gonna try to balance it out and fill in gaps where I might have time to do these coaching sessions. The other good news is I have a new laptop which can run gears pretty easily. So I could always do a coaching session from my laptop uh, just you know getting on gears from there so um, there's definitely more avenues uh, of availability for me to be able to do coaching sessions and I fully am planning on trying to work it out to be able to do more it's just a matter of finding the time to do so um, in my schedule and then opening up the registration again but for those of you who talked to me at MLG Dallas about opening up coaching sessions like the five or six of you who did and for those of you who have messaged me on Twitter and, and so on and so forth I am fully planning on trying to do it again um, I have not forgotten about you guys. I have not pushed that idea to the side. It was it was a successful idea, uh, much more so than I thought it would be, but um, it's just not of the the top priority for me right now. Um, I, I you know I, it was getting settled and getting used to my new position and you know making sure I was getting all my work done and you know it, it's just. Uh, it's, a, it's a tight schedule right now. So um, things are starting to calm down, settle down a little bit. The holidays, I have more free time. Um, I'll be doing a lot of traveling uh, coming up, so uh, we'll get it all figured out. Uh, other news, I will be attending uh, the New Orleans Call of Duty event. Uh, it'll be my first event for my new role for the Call of Duty team. Uh, so I'm excited to see those of you out there. Um, if you see me, feel free to say hi. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. I'm hoping the team does really well. I'm confident that they will. Um, you know, I have the utmost faith in our COD team, just like I do our Gears team and our Halo team. So, and all of our teams. So we'll we'll uh, we'll 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 knock them dead. We'll we'll be good. <laughs> um, and it's exciting because it's my first time in New Orleans. So uh, it'll be fun. All right, uh, I think that's about all I want to talk about in this video. Uh, I plan to start uploading more frequently. I have my vlog uh, from the Gears of War Dallas event, as well as uh, little bits that I shot at the COD Dallas event. Um, I plan on uploading an apartment tour as soon as I get some things finished there to make it you know, look a little fancier than it is. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I know many of you want to hear my thoughts on the Gears of War Dallas event. I'll upload that. Uh, later in a separate video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, if you're excited for the new content, more vlogs, more variety, make sure you subscribe. If you don't care, thank you for your support thus far. <laughs> and uh, um, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and do all that fun social media stuff. The links will be down in the description. I appreciate the support as always, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a happy new year's guys.